everyone here's a question find the hcf of 1260 and 2376 by prime factorization method so prime factorization means we have to express this each number in terms of prime factors and then using that we have to find out the hcf now to how to express this numbers in the terms of prime factors i'm going to use a division method in division method we're going to divide this numbers with the prime numbers and like that we're going to express this given numbers in terms of prime factors that is called as prime factorization so we're going to do it separately we cannot do this like uh, together like in LCM we take this number together and we find out the um, like prime factors right but here if I'm doing a HCF we have to do it separately so the first number here is 1260 I'm going to do this with 2 because it's an even number it goes in uh, with we can divide this with 2 now 2 is a even prime number it's a prime number but it's even number the only one number which is even and prime it's 2 I'm going to divide this with 2 so first we have 12 so 2 6 are 12 then we have a 6 2 3 are 6 and 2 0 are 0 I'm dividing here itself if it's confusing you you can divide separately and write down the answer in the next step so next we have again uh, even number I'm going to take 2 2 3 are 6 we have 3 so 2 1s are 2 then when I subtract 3 and 2 I'll get 1 as a remainder I'm going to write this along with 0 that makes the number 10 2 5s are 10 it's same like a normal division what I'm doing here itself the next we it's a this number 315 is an odd number it doesn't go into so I'm going to try this with the next prime number which is 3 so 3 1s are 3 then we have 1 1 doesn't go right so 3 zeros are 0 and now I'm going to take the whole number 15 that, that is 1 5 3 5 is 15 we got 105 now this number again goes in 3 so we, we're going to take a 10 here it's like a normal division how you do it I'm going to take if first number doesn't go we'll take two numbers right so like that I'm taking 10 here 3 3 is a 9 1 is a remainder that makes a number 15 then 3 5 is a 15 we got 35 it doesn't go in 3 so next prime number is 5 so 5 7 is a 35 and 7 is a prime number so 7 1 is a 7 same way we're going to do with the next number which is 2376 now this number is an even number we're going to take with uh, we're going to start with 2 2 1s are 2 we have a 3 so 2 1s are 2 1 is a remainder that makes a number 17 then 2 8s are 16 again 1 will be the remainder we got 16 now so 2 8s are 16 now this number is also even number i'm going to start with 2 so 2 uh, 1 doesn't go so i have to take 11 here 2 5s are 10 that makes a number like 18 1 will be the remainder I am writing this with 8 so that makes a number 18 so 2 9s are 18 and then 2 4s are 8 this is even number I am going to take 2 here 2 2s are 4 1 is a remainder that makes a number 19 then 2 9s are 18 1 is a remainder that makes a number 14 then 2 7s are 14 we got 297 it's an odd number let's try with the next prime number which is 3 so we 2 doesn't go so I'm going to take 29 here so 3 9's are 27 2 will be the remainder that makes a number 27 and 3 9's are 27 we got 99 it goes in 3 3 3 3's are 9 and 3 3's are 9 we got 33 again goes in 3 3 1's are 3 3 1's are 3 we got 11, 11 is a prime number, so 11 ones are 11. So 11 is a prime number means it doesn't go in any other table except itself. So that's why we have to divide with 11 itself. Now, we can we can see that we got all the prime numbers here. So we're going to be able to express it. So first number here is 1260 is equal to, write down all the prime factors what we got. So it's 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 7 similarly the second number it's 2376 is equal to it's 2 into 2 into 2 into we got 3 3's here so 3 into 3 into 3 into 11 so once we have written this we have to find out the prime factor which is present in both the numbers I'm going to circle them so this 2 is present in both right this 2 is also present in both for this 2 I don't have a 2 factor present anymore here okay all the 2 this 2's are already circled up for this 2 I don't have any more 2 so I have to leave it like that the next 3 we have so I'm going to take this 3 has a common 
and this three also I don't take it as common and you can see that there is this three left out here because for this three I don't have any three to pair up and we have five here and seven here but we don't have a five and seven as a factor in the next number we have eleven here but there's a no eleven as a factor in the first number so we're going to leave it like that and now to find out the HCF we have to multiply the com like the one which we have circled from each pair you just take one one factor and multiply so from here I'm going to take one two and for second pair I'm going to take another two and similarly for the next three and three so from each like uh, the one which is present common take one one factor and multiply so just multiply this number it's two into two two is a four four three is a twelve twelve three is a thirty six so hcf of this two number that is one thousand two hundred sixty and two thousand three hundred seventy six is thirty six so it's very simple method i hope it's clear you can apply the same method for any any number it could be two numbers or three numbers same technique you have to do it and you want to get the hcf I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.